spanning the countries of Mexico, Guatemala, and Belize. The Mayan forest is the largest contiguous block of rainforest north of the Amazon. The Rio Bravo Conservation Management Area in Belize is a critical part of this Mayan forest. This crucial ecosystem helps protect iconic species like the jaguar, the tapir, as well as the Earth's climate system, and is critically important to local people who depend on the forest for their livelihoods. The Nature Conservancy has been working in Belize for over 20 years. The program for Belize is one of our most long-standing partners and when they came to us with this opportunity to have a carbon project within the Rio Bravo, we seized this opportunity um, to avoid the threat of conversion to agriculture. As we can see here, we have the first stage of deforestation, which is where the bulldozers come in and they smash the forest. Despite their importance, the forest of Rio Bravo was threatened with deforestation for industrial scale agriculture. If left unprotected, the entire um, area would have been deforested in 10 to 15 years. This is what will happen to all this forest that we see that is outside of the Rio Bravo Conservation Management Area. As certified by an independent audit under the verified carbon standard, the destruction of these forests would have resulted in over 1.5 million metric tons of carbon dioxide being emitted into the atmosphere, contributing to global climate change. But with the help of local partners, the Nature Conservancy took action to spare this parcel from deforestation, adding more than 15,000 acres to one of the largest private protected areas in Central America. The Rio Bravo is a private reserve that encompasses 260,000 acres of, of forest. It is the job of nine of our rangers to be able to protect this area from the different illegal activities that include the legal logging, fishing, legal fishing, and hunting for white-tailed deer and peccary. Hay como cuatro personas acá de la aldea que trabajan como eh, ellos le llaman los rangers. Eh, ellos trabajan y hay algunos también que trabajan eh, en limpiando eh, como jardineros ahí en el programa for Belize. Pero en el mes de mayo es cuando vienen unos grupos de arqueólogos. Entonces ellos emplean por lo menos tal vez como unas, pienso como 20 personas más o menos. Y esa es una temporada como de dos meses o más de trabajo que ellos tienen ahí. The preserve supports a number of specific projects, including a multi-year Jaguar research endeavor led by Dr. Marcella Kelly of Virginia Tech. She's captured images of the preserve's biodiversity using camera traps. Even though we're focusing on jaguars, we get photographs of all types of animals. Um, you know, white-tailed deer, brocket deer, peccaries, um, tapir, every, a lot of different animals. It would be really nice um, to make sure it maintains protected status of some sort so that we can uh, maintain the biodiversity that is within this forest. Ecotourism is one way this project is supported. 392 species, 581 birds in Belize. And there's one more. We're now looking at the Suetinia macrophylla, which is the mahogany tree. And the rich biodiversity at Rio Bravo has attracted many visitors. The importance of it is the high biodiversity that this place actually has. There is no other place in the country that you can go and see as much as wildlife as you when you visit other places. The locals of Belize refer to their nation as the jewel, and rightly so. Today, thanks to the conservation initiative at Rio Bravo, this vast expanse of the Mayan forest and the species it harbors have been preserved and will continue to inspire future generations while providing jobs for local communities. For more information about how you can purchase carbon offsets and support the Rio Bravo Climate Action Project, please contact the Nature Conservancy.